What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jamila, and welcome to my laboratory. Today, we'll be using heat transfer paper, heat transfer vinyl, and our Cricut to create this shirt. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, to start off, we're going to go ahead and start off with the blank canvas in Cricut Design Space. And let's go ahead and upload our images. So I've already uploaded the pictures that I want to use for this project into Design Space. And just for a brief overview for those who may not know, you would click hit um, upload image, browse, select your items, and go ahead and upload it, right? So I've already skipped that step. Oh, let me go back. So I'm just going to go ahead and click all of these because this is what I want to use today. Um, I got these images from diversesvg.com and of course i'll have the link in the description box for you guys so make sure you go ahead and check that out if you like these images as much as me and you want them for yourself all right cool so i'm going to go ahead and select all of these because it's, it's pretty big and just size them down just a little bit so that we can work with them and let's just go ahead and kind of line them up i just want to Flip this one, right? All right, so I'm going to select these two. I'm going to go to a line and hit a line bottom, just so you know they're aligned. <laughs> going to, oops, I missed one. Let's see. And I'm going to flip this one as well. Hit a line again. Awesome. This one looks a little bit smaller than others. Okay. Select and hit a line one more time. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and group these three together. I'm just going to repeat the same process for, hmm, let's put Penny. In the front. Let me flip this one. Hit a range and bring this to the front. I don't want the balloon being blocked. You know what? Let's trade places with them. Yes, that works better. That way the hat isn't really, you know, being cut off and the um, balloon isn't being cut off. Put it a little bit closer. That one looks a little bit, oops, that's too big. Awesome. So I'm going to take those three, go up to the top and hit a line and a line at the bottom so that they're all nice and even with each other. And we're going to go ahead and group this as well. Now the max size for print for the Cricut print and cut is like 9.25 by 6.75, right? So I'm going to go ahead. I know I want this to be, um, you know, big on my shirt. So I want my size, I'm going to go ahead and change it to 9.25 and I'm leaving the box locked so the auto just for me to keep everything proportional and I could just zoom my screen in a little bit, maybe 50% is good, alright cool. And I'm going to do the same thing for here, 9.25. And this is just <laughs> within the print and cut limits, right? So I don't have to worry about, um, you know, worry about it not being correct. All right, bam, boom. So we have our images. And let's just go ahead and add some text. Like, um, um, let me see. You can't sit with us.
Okay, now let's find some kind of a little nicer fonts. Hold on. Okay, so I went ahead and found this font. It's called Chiller, and it's just part of my Cricut um, Access um, subscription. And I like that. I changed the phrase to like Happy Haunting. I don't know. So uh, I think I just want to curve it a little bit. And to do that, I just made sure the text was highlighted. Went up here to the top toolbar and hit Curve. Just a little bit. I just want to curve. Okay, so let me see. Just think that looks good. Let's tilt it just a little bit. And I'm going to use some red um, glitter vinyl for this. So, yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do is go ahead. Even though we group these, if we were to try and print this, it would be all over the place, right? I want it to print and cut just how it is. So I'm going to select my group and hit attach. And we just go ahead and flatten this as well, um, just because it's a PNG and it just, sometimes Cricut wants to be a little bit crazy and try and cut out all the features, but if you flatten it, it should help, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for this. Go ahead and hit attach, and then we'll flatten. Awesome. So that just ensures that it'll cut out in one nice piece, just the way we have it. So now that we have this, our design's all good, we're going to go ahead and hit make it. Hit OK. And so I'm using the dark transfer paper and you don't need to mirror it, okay? But if you use light transfer paper, you do need to mirror but I'm using dark, so I'm not going to mirror my print and cut. But I am going to mirror my um, vinyl because we always mirror HTV, okay? So go ahead and do that and hit continue. Go ahead and send this to the printer, my regular inkjet. I'm using an Ecotank 2750 printer and I have my bleed on. I'm just going to go ahead and hit print. And I'll do this for both images. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and send them to the printer and then we'll come back and let the Cricut cut it out. Once we have our image printed, we're going to go ahead and lay it on our mat. And when you do this, make sure your ink is dry and try to avoid touching the black line right there because the Cricut needs to read it. And if it's smudged, the sensor won't really be able to pick it up and then it'll tell you an error. Um, or whatnot. But if you do encounter that area, you could take a black Sharpie and just kind of go around that black um, square as well. So we have it on our mat and we're just going to go ahead and pop it into our Cricut. And I'm changing my setting to iron on and then I just hit cut and let it go. So if you're enjoying this video so far, it would be so awesome if you showed your girl some love and hit the thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and come back again later this week and next week for a new tutorial. And all the supplies and everything I used for this video will be linked in the description box, okay? So make sure you check that out. And now that I have everything cut, I'm going to go ahead and get warm up my heat press to 375 degrees. Then we'll be pressing our paper for 25 seconds. And the best way I found to remove like paper from your mats is to flip it over like this and slowly peel the mat away from the paper. And that just prevents it from curling, right? And so once we have everything all cut out, we'll just go ahead and weed our designs. And it weeds very easy, weeds like butter. Go ahead and weed my HTV as well. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Um, all of that will also be in the description box as well. 
All right, so now that our heat press is warmed up, I'm going to go ahead and measure my vinyl about two and a half to three inches away from the collar and slowly peel my transfer from the backing, right? Like I said, this is dark transfer paper. Um, don't have to mirror. I use dark transfer paper on lights and darks. Honestly, light transfer paper is just a headache. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down there and then you cover it with like, you know, butcher paper or, you know, something of that nature because you don't want to press directly on top of this paper because it will melt so after i do that go ahead and add my vinyl same thing cover it just because i didn't you know want the press touching the paper because like i said it will melt and this is it straight off the press and this is it on what do you guys think i love it as always thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next